This is the training tutorial on the FSU School of Theater Scene Shop router table. So here we have our router table. Um, a router table works by having a router that's uh, mounted below and the bit is located right here. There is a fence to help keep you aligned to material. The feed direction for this when aligned in this way is from the right side to the left side. So you want to feed in that direction. Um, some of the things that may help you as you're going along with this is feather boards. This can be slide, slotted into here and adjusted to a height on both sides and along the table feature itself. Make sure that the uh, feathers allow it to travel in that direction. So select the appropriate feather board to locate in the correct position and then adjust the height appropriately. A little bit of pressure on it. Uh, but not so much that you can't move. But there should only be one direction that the feather board allows it to travel so that it doesn't push back on you. Uh, different router bits available and the way to change the router bits um, is as follows. The fence can be moved out of the way. There are two red knobs back here. If you only tighten the red knobs, you'll be fine. There are black knobs also on the fence. Leave those loose. If you leave the black knobs loose, you'll get the advantage of the micro adjust on the back side here right below the hose. Um, so you can tighten the red knobs and then use the micro adjust on the fence. If you tighten the black knobs, you won't be able to use the micro adjust. So loosen the red knobs and then you can slide the fence out of the way. There's also other features here that can be moved out of the way and put back into place. Uh, there's different tools available here. The first one we'll look at is this guy, and this is going to uh, loosen this plate here so that we can gain access to the router bit. All of this operation should be done with the tool unplugged. So with the tool unplugged, uh, we come with this. This has a flat end right here. It should go in uh, facing toward this uh, rounded plate. This description is located on the router table safety sheet so that it can be better tuned. Push it all the way down, turn it so it engages the mechanism, and then the mechanism should come up and down so that you can gain access to the router bit knobs. Uh, same thing with those. As a regular router, use your wrenches, loosen the bit, change the bit to what you want, and then push it back down to the place roughly where you want it. There is a height adjustment here so that you can roll it into your position where you want it up or down. And you can see the wheel going around to show you what your location is. Once you have it roughly located, again, you can still do that adjustment after the fact. Um, select the right size uh, plate to go around it so that you have less exposure. There's different size plates because you may have a different size bit. Um, also with that, you may need to adjust the where the fence is located. There's smaller black knobs on the back side that you can loosen to send the fence in or out depending on where it's going to be best suited for you. And you can locate those as well. Locate your other safety um, above the router bit. This can be adjusted in height. All of these features can be adjusted so that you get the best operation possible and then you want to locate your fence back into place again you can micro adjust get it pretty close if you're using a bearing you want to make sure that the bearing is in line with the uh, router table itself and then uh, there is a speed adjustment for the router you have to actually get to the router and a dial in the speed it's available on the back side and the switch when we connect back to power the switch is right here. We'll turn the router on, make sure all your tools are out of the way, and again, your feather boards and everything else, and then you want to have your feet direction going in that way. Depending on the size of the material and the profile that you're doing, you may want to work up in stages to get a good look to your material. If you try and be over ambitious and you're trying to cut so much with one bit instead of doing it in stages, it may just burn up, it may look really bad, you may uh, get poor results from that bit. 
So go in stages with this. This cart that this is located on has a wheel and a um, function over here so that you can move it around the shop where you need to. There's a long enough hose so that you can come out for longer runs of material. And when you're done, you want to position it back out of the way. A lot of this information is available here and available here. There's literature on this tool, so additional information you might find uh, and you might need. But uh, don't be over ambitious with the tool. Maintain distance away from the router bit. Don't get your fingers close to the router bit um, and operate it safely.